So this is a follow-up to the uh, clutch master cylinder. We've just got a brand new TRW one, which is uh, OEM apparently. TRW. I'm not sure if it's Girling or Lucas. I think it's Girling. Look at all their instructions. Well, we don't need them. We've we've done this plenty of times before. So first thing you want to do: oil can. When you're going to oil the pivot from the underside and work it backwards and forwards most important because this bit obviously is, is vertical and it's really difficult to try and get your oil can up, up to the top so even if the oil comes down on the through the pedal you can always put some paper towel or newspaper underneath to soak up any oil but now's the time to do it next thing I got my buffer and buffed off the surface because this has been on and off that many times and everybody's put silicone on it that <laughs> you'll never seal again It'll, you'll never get the bolts back in uh, I'm going to tap out the bolts uh, later but you obviously you don't want to say that because that's a bit boring it's just a putting a tap in and turning around so the next thing we're going to do is fit the cylinder now it's supposed to have like a little metal gaskety type thing on here like an adapter gasket but Unfortunately, we didn't have it and I haven't got one. I thought there was one, but never mind. So what we're going to do, going to get our anti-seize and put some anti-seize on this thread. Alright, get some anti-seize on. And we're going to put a nut on. We're going to run a nut down. That's why I was a bit sort of vague in putting the anti-seize on, because the anti-seize, when you run the nut, up to the top we'll start to even it all out see what I mean look at that that's lovely it's poetry motion that now there is a little trick I do and I'm just going to reach for the there's a raccoon I'm just going to reach for the material sometimes when you get these master cylinders from the shops they tend to put them in together dry so I'm going to just put a little bit of brake fluid in or dot three and I'm going to put my hand over the hole and I'm going to prime it and you'll there see it sucked it down so that so I put my finger over there like a valve and that cap full of fluid has now entered the cylinder so when I press this cylinder it'll come out isn't that clever so the thing is now you can put your cap on there put this cap on to stop any dirt and debris getting in and now we can assemble it because now I'm sure that I, I've done this in the past before I, I've assembled these and they've been dry, dry as a bone and uh, well you have a hell of a job trying to get the, uh, the the piston to pump well these are not a very good cap oh, there you go. so put your top back on your brake fluid or your dot three always remember when you've got your fluid keep the top on and never ever put dirty fluid back in all right uh, brake fluid or dot three or whatever you want to call it is what's a product which is called hy hygroscopic which means it draws water in and that's the reason why you have to change your brake fluid every now and again because it gets moisture in there you go and that's why it boils right so will this madness never end so what we're going to do now is we're going to oil the top pivot here we're going to oil that like that look get plenty of oil on you can't put enough oil on I tell you it's what why Land Rovers fail they never get lubed up and then we're going to put the bolts in so this is the order of appearance we're going to get our cylinder we're going to put a washer on now this is 5 16th UNF all right you can use the old nuts don't put be tempted to put locking nuts on you know unlike nylocks you'll understand why when we come to to adjust it so you have to feed through the shaft Wait a minute. this is a bit tricky it's everything sort of moves there we go I'll show you in a minute let me get this top bolt in because the bottom one's a bit tricky but if you get this in it you'll see what it, uh, I'm trying to do 
See, see there? I've got. Maybe this is better. There's the the nut and the thread. Now this is uh, th there's like a double sleeve here. There's a there's a pivot bar inside. There's a pivot inside, and then there's a sleeve. That's why I had a little bit of trickiness to put that on. Now before you fasten everything down, move that right to the front. Get your other flat washer. Drop it on. There's no spring washers because these two nuts will tighten against themselves eventually. All right. Now see. If you try to do this on the car, and I have seen people do it on the car, couldn't believe it. What a mess about. Leave it loose, loosey doosey, all right? So the next thing we're gonna do is put our bottom bolt in. Now that could prove difficult. What happened there? That could prove difficult. So I'm gonna stop the video now and put the video, cause it's just a nut and bolt, but usually what I have, to put the bolt in is a pair of uh, long nose pliers, you see, and then that can go underneath there, through there, and, and, and fall on the floor. So <laughs> I'll go and look for the bolt and then I'll put it in properly. Now, I've got the bolts tightened up, I can't remember what top, but just give them a bit of a nip, just be sensible, they don't want to be stripping. How anybody, you can get this top bolt out of here when it's in the car, but to try and get the bottom bolt out and get it back in again while it's on the car, forget it. Take it out, do it like this, because you can do several jobs at once. Right, so what you're going to do is make sure that in here, you can see that the, the, the plate at the back goes against that stop. That's most important, so keep it in that position, like that, look. And then what we're going to do, oh, wait a minute, you can't see, can you? <laughs> so I've kept the, the pedal against the stop, and now we're going to adjust these nuts here to come into contact with the tube inside. Now it is most vital that there is play on the shaft. See that shaft there? So we're going to back this nut off a bit further, just a little turn, and then we keep backing this one, keep tightening this one up. The reason for it is this. If, if there must be play on this shaft when, when it's at its stop. Like, so you see there, there's a, there's a bit of play. See there? That's all you want. Because once, once you've got your spring on your pedal and it's pulling it up over, it's going to pull this shaft back. When the shaft back, fluid can come from here naturally. Oh, this way. The camera's back. When I look at this on front view camera, everything's backwards. So it comes down here, through here, and then through your pipe, and that means you can gravity bleed it. Very easy. Now, if the pedal's forward somewhat like that, and you adjust it up so there's no play in there, the valve, which was defective, you know, remember, the, the, the little round one, is sealing against this end here, and it will not allow fluid to come down. <laughs> Get it wrong again. It won't allow fluid to come down and round. Now, what happens in this scenario is that when you sort of let your foot off the clutch, it will suck a little bit of fluid through, but it'll continuously pressurize that line because this then doesn't become a, it's like a non-return valve and it'll keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And I have actually seen push rods go through the back of the uh, bellows in, so just be warned. And it makes it an awful carry on trying to bleed your clutch through. So just make sure you've got that little bit of play. You know, it seems a lot, but you can see in here, you can see it moving, look. That's all you want. And once you've got that, once you're happy, get your spanner, tighten down the lock nut. Just make sure you've still got play. And then once that's gone, tighten up the back lock nut. Till it's tight. Now it was moving a bit there, 
but I'm going to check it again but look see keep looking and then you can pinch those two nuts together that is in its perfect place once we've pinched the nuts up again keep checking make sure you got that bit of play I know it's I know it sounds wrong but believe me it's so right because people want me to over adjust it so the pedals even higher uh, that's not good that's that's that causes a lot of troubles so I'm now gonna clean off this silicone off this cap fit the cap bolt it all on bleed it through we'll go out once we've got it all fixed up one last thing before fitting down here are two drain holes I think we've mentioned this before see here two drain holes what happens is once your pedals on your bulkhead like this water can accumulate in here and can't go anywhere so they put two drain holes here which is never really adequate enough I'm just cleaning them out of any dirt and debris because they are, for some strange reason somebody put silicone in it so clean them out and if possible try and drill them a bit bigger the bigger the better and that will get rid of a lot of water top tip